Young almost falls down. Throws to the end zone. Oh, it's It will change, and I'm not trying to tell you something. Yeah, it's going to change. It's not like that. Okay, but I want you to understand where I'm coming from. It will change. And it will change because they wanted to change, not, not because of me. It will change because they want to be champions. Smith and a gun with Gore in his left hip. Third down, Alex takes the snap. Alex looking down and Shit, it's the Gold Blooded Podcast coming at you like a dick through a busted condom. Squirting Jew everywhere. Ooh. Squirting what? I don't know. Into Ziploc bags. <laughs> yeah. Squirting. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Squirting what? I meant to say jizz, but Jew came out. <laughs> oh, no. All right. It's uncomfortable. Squirting Jews into Ziploc bags. I don't know what it came out. Super uncomfortable. It just came out. All right. Um. Uh, speaking of Jewish people, we're going to get into the earning you money now. Um, <laughs> I'm doing it for you. I'm 13 and 2. The boys just can't keep up. Uh, I won last week with my rock hard Bills pick. Every- You're burying the lead right here. Listen. I'm going. This no. is our lock of the week. We are. All we do is fucking pick mm. wins. We are coming into this week 5 and 0. Oh. All of us picked different games last week, and we all won. Five hot picks. Our season total as a group against the spread is 54 and 21. This is just more proof that all these idiots that get paid to do this are just that idiots that get paid to do this. There's definitely one logical pick a week, and we just proved there was five of them last week, you know? Joe is currently on a seven game win streak. Wow. I am on a four-game win streak, Chris on a two-game win streak, but, I mean, the total collective team record speaks for itself. That is just, even the most seasoned fucking shark better doesn't get 54-21 and 21 in his best year, or hers. Don't want to be sexist here on the Gold-Blooded Podcast. Yeah, after the blatant races, my dropped in the beginning part of that. Yes, uh, trying to make up yeah. for that. There you go, Steve. Well, you want you you want the lock of the week, the number one lock of the week. You go first. You ready? I mean, I don't know how this doesn't just jump out to everyone, but the lock of the week is the fucking Packers getting five and a half on Monday night. Mm. I saw that, and immediately in my mind, I said to myself, "If it's too good to be true, it probably is." Oh. But definitely stood out to me. But I'm thirteen and two. Green Bay plus five and a half at Minnesota. Yeah. Okay. This week's lock of the week. Steven, that's good. That means at least one of mine will be left because I have three. (laughs) I am struggling between two. I'm kind of hoping you took one of them to make my decision for me, but it looks like I actually need to nut up and make a fucking pick. My pick of the week is... Come on, spray some Jew. (laughs) Hey! The Philadelphia (laughs) Eagles plus two and a half. At home against the Dallas Cowboys. You give Ooh, that's me ballsy. Yeah. You're telling me I'm ballsy. You're ballsy. You that wanna talk ballsy. about divisional fucking for the playoffs. Yes. Oh, Hear me out. Stay the fuck away from that. You you wanna talk about a meaningful football game? And my options are Jason Garrett and Dak Prescott. And then on the other side I have Doug Peterson, Super Bowl winning head coach, and Carson Wentz. Arguably one of the top five most talented quarterbacks in the league. Just another Johnny jerk off, if you ask me. Yeah. Um, I'm you taking keep sucking them off. I'm taking Super Bowl winning head coach Doug Peterson. To me, at that, home in Philly, one of the hardest places to play. I could see that happening for sure, but to me, that game's a coin flip. I ain't fucking touching that. 
Let's see if uh, I picked one of your other ones. I am going to do Kansas City minus six Man, at all my Bears. Bears. I like that Kansas City pick, Chiefs Chris. Chiefs. Good pick. Minus six at, at Chicago. Now i got to pick between my three because you guys didn't pick any of them. <laughs> I'll go with my first choice, which is Saints minus three at Tennessee. I didn't even see that game. Well, no, my other possibilities yeah, that I'm not taking. Uh, one was Giants plus two and a half at Washington. Liked that. And the other was Arizona plus nine and a half at Seattle. Mm-hmm. Neither of them was my backup, which S- was... Seattle has not been great at home, and Arizona plays everybody tough. I was, I was choosing between Philly, and then I was uh, looking at Steelers minus three... At the Jets. What did Kern have? Oh, yeah. Kern took the Broncos minus seven versus gotcha. Detroit Lions. Yeah. Wow. We basically covered every single game. Yeah, pretty close. Like, Imagine they all come through like our backups and our... <laughs> right. I almost want to pick... We're so fucking hot, I almost want to pick all the pick games. Pick them all. Let's not get, yeah, let's not let's get, get, not get ahead of ourselves. Let's not get too wild. Yeah. There's probably still time for us to tank this Well, thing. what would suck is we'd get them all right, and then we'd be like, all right, we need to start betting on yeah, and, and then, then we'd yeah, be broke. The minute we start putting actual Gone. money on it... Listen, i got to be completely honest with you. When I was like... Uh, like, when this thing was out, like, when I was like 8-2 and two or something, I was like, should I start throwing $50 on these fucking things a week? <laughs> like, should I? And then I'm like, ah, I'll fucking tank the week I do. And I haven't, and here, here I am on a fucking seven-game win streak. Yep. Just... Fuck. Before we get into mystery quote, I just want to read an article to you that I found on Niners Nation. I want to read two paragraphs to you. This is someone that gets paid to write articles for a fucking newspaper or an online newspaper. Ready? First paragraph. First paragraph. This is Niners Nation. Yeah. Okay. First paragraph. Seeing the number of snaps that Bourne played, it tells you that the 49ers relied on 11 personnel this game more than usual. That hasn't been the offense's strong suit personnel-wise this season. Next paragraph. The running back snap counts were interesting. Mostert played almost as many plays as Coleman and Breida combined. Seeing the number of snaps that Bourne played, it tells you that the 49ers relied on 11 personnel this game more than usual. That hasn't been the offense's strong suit personnel-wise this season. Sound familiar? Sounds a lot like the first fucking paragraph I read to you. Yeah, Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Does, do you not read before you... Like, that's a fucking major publication. And nobody read that article and went, you wrote the same paragraph twice, you fucking moron. How the fuck does that get through? I don't know. Uh, well, that's like anything else. That's a person that fucking travels across the country with the San Francisco 49ers. I guarantee it. That's a person that... Who is it? I don't... I have, It's a screen cap. I have to go find it. No. That's a person that most likely travels with the fucking 49ers. We're in a fucking basement. <laughs> we're, we're smacking projectors and heaters with rocks to get them to work. <laughs> and I could have fucking wrote a better article than that. Yep. And George Kittle doesn't know how to block. Jesus Christ. All right. Mystery quote? Mystery quote. I got four of them. Oh, Jesus. Love this segment. (laughs) All right. This is a current defensive player in the league. Ray Lewis. (laughs) Very current, extremely current NFL (laughs) defensive player. Currently in the league. (laughs) It just defeats my soul to go out there and play the way we play and lose the way we lose. It just defeats my soul to go out there and play the way we play and lose the way we lose. OBJ. Defensive player. Oh, sorry. You said linebacker, right? I did not say that. I said nothing of the sort. Did I get the team? You did not. (sighs) Very prominent defensive player. Very prominent. J.J. (laughs) Watt. I said very prominent, not three years ago prominent. (laughs) Sorry. Not on injured reserve. <laughs> um, <laughs> former defensive player of the year. Yeah, Keekly. Keekly. Nope. Uh, uh, the guy from uh, Denver. Von Miller. Yes. Hmm. 
Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, got one. Got one. Joe got one. All right, here's the next one. This this one was out there, so Rob or Joe or Chris might know it. I probably saw more middle fingers today than I have in my whole life. <laughs> they have a good time, and it was fun to ruin that for them. I didn't hear this one, but that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a uh, quarterback. Jimmy G. No. No, that's got to be... Who would enjoy that so much? <laughs> that sounds like a Philip Rivers quote. Nope. Good guess, though. Who played the Raiders? The Jaguars. Minshew. Minshew. Yep. <laughs> ah. <laughs> How about the Raiders just collapsing? So strange. To... And came out of nowhere to start winning. Like, everyone expected them to suck, and they just got hot. Yes, Amazing. but like collapsing in this game to a Jacksonville team that quit weeks ago. Incredible. In the last game at the Coliseum ever, <laughs> I got so much enjoyment out of watching that happen, and I'm not entirely sure why. <laughs> Fuck them. All right, so next one. This is a current quarterback, starting quarterback in the NFL. I just wanted to say thanks. Whenever I'm done playing football... They can get mad at somebody else. That's the quarterback. You know what I mean? <laughs> Aaron, <laughs> Aaron Rodgers. Nope. Uh, Eli great. Manning. Nope. Whenever I'm done playing football, they can get mad at somebody else. That's the quarterback. Prescott. You know what I mean? Brady? <laughs> no. Prescott. Nope. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. Darnold? Nope. Went. Nope. That ain't Jackson. Uh. <laughs> Such a great call. Um, it's uh, not Cam Newton, right? Um, it's not Colton. Winston. Nope. Ooh, that's a good one, too. That's a good one, too. Uh, Fitzpatrick? Nope. I love that he's a starter again. <laughs> <laughs> and they have no interest in That's looking so at Josh so Rosen again. I love that Josh Rosen is just I, already out of the league. And I love the Tannehill, too. Yeah. Like, Kirk See Cousins. you later. No. Fuck! Uh, Trubisky? Nope. Oh, that's a good one, too. There's so many good ones. <laughs> God damn it. Um, AFC? That's not an Eli thing. That's not for set. It's not Brady. Minshew? No. Nope. AFC, it's not Jackson. It's not that Joker in s- s- Pittsburgh. Carr? Nope. Who'd you say? Ooh, that's Car? a good one. Yes. It, it was Carr. That's a good one. <laughs> Two! There's a lot of fucking great people that could have said that. Oh. All that's right. another one that Rivers could have said, too. This one, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> All right. It's a quote, Steve. You just have to say what they said. It's not a verbal <laughs> quote. It's a tweet. <laughs> this is a former... Mystery tweet. New, se- new segment. <laughs> Mystery tweet. A former <laughs> NFL player. Oh, I love the former. Could be anybody. If I beat my kid... With... <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got my attention. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. If I beat my kid with a belt, it better be with a Louis belt. I got beat with some cheap belts. Cheap, shake my head, cheap scapes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Darnell Dockett. <laughs> oh my nope. god. If I beat where, why? Why did he even say that? <laughs> like in regards Where did this come yeah, from? Yeah, was this in regards to Adrian Peterson? Nope. Was it in regards to anything? He just tweeted it. <laughs> That's got to be like Antonio Brown. Yes. Yeah. Antonio Brown. Amazing. What You've been keeping stupid, up with him? What a stupid fuck. Fucking cops coming to his house and he's filming it. And the guy with him says, dude, you're not streaming this to social media. Put that away. <laughs> And he just keeps filming his interaction with the police. Like, that dude has fucking issues. He'll be in the league again. He has a burner account where he sticks up for himself. Yeah! 
<laughs> That's phenomenal. <laughs> That's be, fucking great. He'll be in the league again. Yeah, he will. I'm going to get his jersey. He will. He'll be there. I think I'll get his jersey. Gordon got more the chances Patriots than him. Jersey? Whatever. <laughs> yeah, but at least Gordon stayed under the radar. Like, yeah, stone. this dude is just... Can't stop. Yeah. Take by his the way, that's, away. By the way, that's why we lost the Seattle game. PEDs. PEDs. Yeah, Josh, Josh Gordon. Gordon was on PEDs. Yep. Probably. A delayed uh, blame game. All right, that's all I got for mystery quote. All right, what's the next thing? Let's look ahead to this fucking game that nobody wants to fucking watch. <sighs> I want to watch a W, but I don't want it on Saturday night. I hate oh, this. No, I want nothing to do. Can we just skip? Can we go right to Seattle Sunday night? Right. Time for all the marbles. This is Saturday night. The game's got to get flexed, right? Well, Un- unless we lose, if we, and it doesn't mean shit. If we lose, then week seventeen doesn't mean anything. Well, week seventeen means we could be fifth seed or sixth seed. Hmm. That's the only. If we lose to the Rams, so we beat the Rams, that. we're flexed in. Got to be a hundred percent. If we beat the Rams, week seventeen is one hundred percent guaranteed flex Sunday night football hmm. for the first seed or the fifth seed. But. I do believe that we need a much better game heading into Seattle than we just came out of Atlanta with, or out of a game against Atlanta with. We're playing on a Saturday night, so if we win, which we should, we get an extra day of rest than Seattle, who's playing on Sunday. Um, Obviously, we're traveling there, but that kind of evens things out a little bit. We're not going East Coast, staying on the West Coast. Bless you. You like how I'm talking about the Seattle game more than I'm talking about the L.A. game? <laughs> uh, but this, you can't overlook this team. I mean, they looked like garbage against the Dallas Cowboys who hadn't done anything in weeks. But yet, somehow, they beat Seattle two yeah. weeks ago on, on Sunday Night Football. And it was 28-12. to 12. It was a fucking smashing. That was the game where the line was even. Very and we were like, why the fuck yeah. is this line a pick em? Very strange. But it's a strange league we're in. The first time we played the Rams, Jared Goff had 78 passing yards. <laughs> because our our pass rush was full strength and humming. Eating him alive. Just humming. Now, we've just faced back-to-back weeks of, of uh, pocket quarterbacks, which we assumed was our fucking bread and butter. Not so fast. We've only had, what, three sacks in the past two weeks? Four sacks in the past two weeks as opposed to... I think we had four sacks on Jared Goff just by himself. So, Jared. I think that... Are you allowed to be a Hall of Fame quarterback if your name is Jared? Mm. You can't. You can't. Probably not. You're not allowed to be Hall of Fame You anything. can sell fucking subs and touch kids. That's about it, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, come on. Jared? Hall, all-star, Hall of Fame, all-pro quarterback, Jared? <laughs> come on! <laughs> Skateboard professional? I believe it. Jared. Yeah. Cool. You can't be an all-pro Hall of Fame starting quarterback in the NFL named Jared. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Not allowed. Good Call, observation. Calling shenanigans. Tom, um, Tom, Drew, Joe, Jimmy. Steve, Jimmy. All good. So what I've been... Philip. What I've been busy over here doing for the past few minutes and what I've realized just this second is that today, right now, December 18th... Can I finish your sentence? Yeah. There are five bags, Ziploc bags, of my semen no. floating out there. So. <laughs> no, don't fuck her. Hundreds of children. Hundreds this, of children, Steve. <laughs> this is, tonight, is the 15-year anniversary of my DUI. Congratulations. Joe. Tonight. Congratulations. It happened on a Saturday, week 15, and the 49ers were playing, and I brought that up. Who were the, they playing? The Redskins. They lost. The who? Oh, oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> all right. Wow, I'm a racist. 15 uh, years ago, he was a racist. Yeah, also. That's right. I, I was in a time warp. 15 year anniversary of Joe being a racist. The team from Washington. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And uh, I was in a driver retraining course earlier in that day. You and, told us about yeah, the driver yeah, retraining I, I know, course. I, I know I've told the story. but You had uh, to go across the street back and forth, try and watch a little bit of the game at a time. That's right. Yeah, and I got drunk. And here we are. 15 years later, my only one. You got drunk at a driver retraining course for a DUI. (laughs) No, 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 no. I got the DUI later on. The driver retraining course was just because I did a lot of speeding. Okay. I was a speeder. Um, I was a habitual speeder. One thing I will say about this game, 
is we've had, I think, two primetime games at Levi Stadium this year. One was against Seattle. One was against Green Bay. And both of those games, that place was rocking. Like, just Rock. full-blown. Rock cocking. Rocking. Um, up there with some of the best atmospheres out there. Kansas City, Seattle, Philly. It was They were rocking. So, I really think that... Um, I I think this is this is gonna this is gonna be a fucking win and it's gonna be a big win. I haven't come up with my key to victory yet. I'm stalling. I'm just. I feel really good about this game coming off of a ugly loss. I have a key to victory. Give it. My key to victory is hate. Fort Niners have to thrive on hate this week. They have to hate the fact that they lost last week. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? No, no, just go ahead. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> they have to hate the position they're in. And they have to... They have to... Spray some Jew in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> they have to spray some hate all over the field this week. <laughs> and that's my key to victory. Hate. That's key to victory? Is hate. hate. That's right. All right. Fuck your loving bullshit. Hate. Just hate. Shanahan's got to give up this family bullshit. He's got to fucking yell at people. He's got to make people feel small like Harbaugh did. The key to victory in this game the is... people. Lakin Tomlinson, Ben Garland, and Mike Person putting their big boy pants on. Because if you stop Aaron Donald, you've got this game won. Those three guys are the key to victory this week. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, Bob, follow Louie. The key to this victory is getting some key players back on defense and shutting down Jared. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I, don't know. I, I have no interest in this game. I'm not excited for this game. I don't. I don't even want to watch this game, to be perfectly honest. This Fair. is the first game of the year that I have zero interest in watching. Fair. After the way that last week went, I just I don't. Know, it's going to be really hard for me to get up for this game, and on a Saturday, like Joe said, I think I'm going to be at a. Uh, we have a Christmas party at the shop on Saturday. It's going to be the hardest mm-hmm. one for me to watch all year. Mm-hmm. I'm going to probably have to watch on my iPad mm-hmm. while working. It's going to be a real fucking disaster. I don't see this game being a disaster. I see it being a very. I hope so. It'll be a lot easier win. for me to watch if we just start blowing them out early. Yes. It'll be a lot easier on my life. Uh, you blow them out early, start resting. Rest your fucking guys because uh, I swear to God, if we're up by 20 plus points in the fourth quarter and Mike McGlinchey goes down, I, I am. Why just... would you say that out loud, Steve? Why do he always does this? It's fucking insane. He always does why this. Why couldn't you just say someone gets hurt? I should have said someone. Ugh. Oh, well. I'll tell you right now, if we lose this game, someone's getting a fucked well, up tattoo. Well, someone <laughs> covers the entire team. At least I've minimized my chances. <laughs> well, what did I do? No, he's saying if he said uh, someone, then the whole, everybody could get hurt. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you right now, if we lose to the Rams, there's going to be some fucked up tattoos on Saturday. I'll tell you that <laughs> right now. Nah. Especially if it's like on in the background while I'm working. Oh. 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 <laughs> it'll just be it'll, oh. be, a, it'll be a nice like tattoo at the start of it. Yep. And then it'll just end up saying, fuck the Rams. Word to the wise, get in early on Saturday. <laughs> fuck the Rams. All right. Um, predictions. Predictions. I'm coming out hot. Right. I'm going with a 49ers victory of 34 to mm, 16. <laughs> Can I go? Yep. Sure. I write mine down early just so you know because I have to type everyone's. Mm-hmm. So sometimes when you start, I'm like, oh, God, it's going to be exactly the same. It's pretty close, but it's not exactly I want to bring back uh, 22 to 12. 22 49ers. to 12. That's right. Are we have a specific order we're supposed to do this, or it doesn't matter? No. Uh, I'm shooting from the uh, Curran had 28 to 17. He had sent in, and I have chosen 35 to 10. Hmm. So that people can get some decent tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> um... I'll do 28-12. Does anyone do that? No. All right. Oh, it's wild that today really is the anniversary of the DUI. I went boom. 
match in the gas tank. Boom, boom. <laughs> Shoe Slinger. This week's nominees are Center you know Coleman. You know what No. What's eating Gilbert Grape? <laughs> you ever see that movie, Steve? Uh, I th- bits and pieces. <laughs> when Leo plays the retard? Yeah. yeah. What is that? I don't know. She's doing something up there. Uh-oh. Shoe Slinger. This week's nominees are... Maybe somebody's breaking in. Get to slanging. Get the gun. Someone's breaking in. All right. You're going to like these ones. Are you done? <laughs> no. You guys are going to like these. I'm not done. Coleman Shelton, center. Marquis Christian, safety. And Austin Corbet, guard. They get tough when we play the same team. Yes. You got to go deep time, in the roller deck. Last time we had Jim Fossil. There were some good ones on there last Jim time. Jim Fossil Jr. didn't have him. <laughs> All right. Get an advantage. Uh, point Coleman Shelton. All right, that's right up our alley. Yeah, yeah. So Par for the course. This, this is outside the box. Okay. Yeah. Should I show this one? This last? is yeah. Yeah. All oh, right. This, this is the third. <laughs> kind of in our wheelhouse. In our wheelhouse for sure. Yeah. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> it's going to be a terrible one, though, because he's going to love him. <laughs> <laughs> what is that's that? The first, that's the first picture that popped up, right. and I was like, what the f- We are currently looking like at... Like that, nothing crazy. Safety. That, very crazy. Yeah. Marquis Christian. That also added added some adornment. <laughs> what yeah. the fuck? Like, the, like that picture you just showed, nothing, Whoops. right? Like, no, no big deal. Yeah. Joe. Get this guy. (laughs) Look at the fresh. Look at all the other pictures. That neck tat is fresh. The one right on the throat. Mac. 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 What's his name? It's probably his nickname for Mark. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. His name is Marquis. M-A-R-Q-U-I. Okay. So let me describe what I'm seeing first. Spaghetti head. (laughs) That's really the only way. I hate to be silly with it, but... I'm looking at a young... Look how African- normal he looks there. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at a young African-American man with Tattoos dreads. There. But he, in the picture I'm looking at... I mean, he looks totally normal when his dreads are normal color. But he dyed them, and he <laughs> literally looks like he has vodka sauce dreads. You know? Like, there's no <laughs> other way to say that. This dude has vodka sauce spaghetti head. Um, all right. But other than that... Uh, he almost looks like a woman, doesn't he? Though? Yes, very feminine. Like, yeah, he's got a nice, a cute. I'd like, face. I'd like to blow a Jew on his face. Uh, I'll tell you what, if you wanted to convert, yeah, he's a he's a prime example. He's a pretty man, <laughs> um, but he's really doing a number to himself with these neck tattoos. Oh, it's his initials. Oh, there oh. you go. All right. So, um, is he still on on the Rams, or is this a former Ram? He's active. He's active duty. Is he a starter? He's active duty. Um, Where is he from? I can't get over it. That picture right there, he looks like uh, it looks like a woman right there. Like when it's small like that, doesn't it, Rob? Oh, I trust me. I picked it. He looks like a pretty woman. All where, right. where is he from? All right, so the Arizona Cardinals drafted Christian in the fifth round. From where? What college? College uh, always tells me everything I need to know. College career. Midwestern State University. What? Let's see. So, drafted by the Cardinals and then oh! waved. Can you get his Instagram? And then, wow. Yes. There's some good stuff on there. It's Mac underscore Uno. Might be multiple underscores, but there's at least one. Wow. There we go. It looks like he keeps going lighter with the dreads. They're going to turn white sooner or later. He fucked. He had beautiful dreads, and he fucked them up by dyeing them. He really oh, did. All right. Here. Rob's got Chris looking for a keep specific going. No, keep picture. Going. Keep going. Keep, that's what I just showed him. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> he doesn't look like a pretty woman there. He looks like a fucking hippie, a dirty white hippie. He rides yeah. the fucking short bus. He looks like a dude I bought like six eighths of mushrooms from at like one of those drug festivals. What is that? <laughs> what is that? That's fashion, Steve. He's an odd fella. You know, uh, he hangs out with uh, Pettis. <laughs> I heard. 
He's a uh, he's an odd fella. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, with that said, paywall by Instagram. That was good, Joe. You want to see our other two options real quick? That was way outside of the box. Yeah, us. that was good. All right, here here you go, Joe. If you want to get this guy, go for it. That guy's name should be Hey Vinny. Uh, I don't want to get him. He, yeah, he's he's been pretty God, par for the course. He's been God his whole life. <laughs> <laughs> he played for the Browns, you know. Yeah, here's the other. Yeah, fuck that guy too. Ooh, look at the luscious locks. Go up, up, up. He does have nice the tie. hair. Yeah. He's got oh, yeah. nice hair for a fat guy. I bet he trench grew coat. up. He one thousand percent grew up with a poster of Clay Matthews in his room. I don't know. He looked like a trench coat mafia no, guy. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. I was trying to think of the kid's name from Columbine, but you, man. it eluded me. What? Oh, what is this? Coleman Shelton, 2018. Is he, I'm a He's a former Niner. He was a Niner last year. Weird. Look at there's there's Nick Mullins, and there's Coleman Shelton. That must be preseason. It's got to be. All right, Just Coleman pull Shelton. Pull up his wiki. All right. Uh, moving on to what emails? Yeah, duty. Well, you do the particulars. All right. If you want to email us. You can get at us, goldbloodedpodcast at gmail.com. Instagram page is on fire. <laughs> Goldblooded podcast, UDFA. one word. UDFA. With San Francisco. Okay. Um, if you want to donate to us, you would go to patreon.com backsplash goldblooded podcast. Uh, donate as little as a dollar a month, as much as $100 billion a month. And reviews. Um, Always love the reviews. It, it helps us out, move up the charts a little bit so more cunts can discover us. Uh, anything else? Helps us compete with all the people that get paid to do this, which we do not. Wait, did you... Do, 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 are there any new reviews? Do, 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 do. I have not looked at reviews. You start emails, I check the reviews. I'm checking them and there's not. Okay, emails. First email is from Christopher Johnson, CGD. He says, go Niners, but go spelt like he's from uh, Louisiana there. <laughs> what? Yeah, that, oh. that's how they do go, like LSU, they spell it like that, like go cats or whatever. Or what are the LSU? Are they the cats? Are they? Do you know? I LSU? Don't know. I don't know. Did anybody see there was a bobcat attack in Fairfield? It's pretty cool. Yeah, 12-year-old child. Um, yeah. Sounds pretty cool. I like that you said pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds real cool, Joe. Wow. Well, <laughs> Doesn't I mean, sound I like anything cool about it. I li- nah, he just got fucked up a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I like nature, so that's cool. Um, <laughs> what an asshole. Nature in Fairfield. <laughs> Did he escape from the zoo? No, it's a bobcat. Like, if the kid was throwing sticks at the thing, I maybe I, I mean, could see cool it. It's not cool that it attacked a kid, but it's cool that they're around. I guess that would be a better way to say it. I guess the fact that he attacked a child <laughs> proves that they're around, so that's cool. I guess that's a fucked up way to go about it. All right. Here's what C. Jitty's got to say. This is clearly from before the game. Yes. What's up, fellas? <laughs> Damn, huge win Sunday. <laughs> yeah, this is going back two weeks. It feels good talking about playoff seeding and not draft position at this point in the season for the first time in a while. Not crazy about the points the defense gave up. And the missed tackles. But offense did their thing. I think that win solidifies Shanahan for coach of the year. Shit, Lynch may be executive of the year, considering the squad he's built these last three years. I'm ready to clinch his playoff bird Sunday against the Falcons, which will lock up comeback player of the year for Jimmy. Looks like a trap game, but we should slap those boys. Our O-line <laughs> needs to hold up. The reserves on defense need to hold it down. Sad face for DJ Jones. And Levi's will be loud. Ryan throws three picks, gets sacked five times, and we win 32-10. to 10. Unrelated, but I'm calling a Carolina upset over the Seacocks. Joe, you wanted some ideas for playoffs. Here's one. You guys could go live on Facebook or Instagram for gold-blooded pregame, halftime, discuss needed adjustments, etc., and or uh, postgame analysis. I don't know if the podcast... I don't know of a podcast that does that, and you guys are made for that shit. Just an idea. Peace and gold blood. Chris. P.S. My girl listens to the pod with me and is convinced there's no way Madison is a real person. <laughs> she thinks it's one of you guys just being funny. LOL. <laughs> Yo, man. None Ma- of us could stay in character no that way. long. Madison is as real <laughs> as the 49ers are 
good. I, I don't know. You can uh, find him on Instagram. Yeah, he's a real dude, man. He's he's a, he's a god. Um, as far as us going on live, I'd probably be the only one up for something like that, which I would definitely do. Um, but as far as uh, talking about halftime adjustments, I have no fucking idea. And during halftime, I'm getting as fucked up as possible. So uh, I can't help you there. But uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Barrett. No, not Gene Thomas. Oh, Barrett no, I see. Muller. Gene Thomas just threw me for a loop there, you see. He looked like a regular email. Ryan Tannehill. So, there's all this talk about Ryan Tannehill winning Comeback Player of the Year. But how is it not Jimmy Horsecock? Dude tore his ACL just to be top five in passing TDs and passing yards. Fuck Ryan Tannehill. I don't know, Steve, you have anything to say about that? Because that seems crazy. Talk to me. Yeah, that's absolutely insane. Right. I mean, in order... Uh, the argument against Garoppolo being Comeback Player of the Year is a lot of people are saying, what is he coming back from? He only played three games last year, and he and he lost two of them. But that argument, I mean, if if you're talking, if you're gonna make that argument, then you can't possibly put Ryan Tannehill as comeback player of the year because he's coming back from what what happened Not to him last started. year? Nothing. He did nothing yeah, last year. He didn't year. start. Somebody else started. Yeah. So yeah. He's coming back from a torn ACL. Yeah. Jimmy. Come, oh, like, for what, sure. For sure. What a stupid fucking. Matt motherfucking Madison chiming in with a written piece. Thoughts. One. Or no, not yet. Sorry. Hey, crew. I have a few quick thoughts on the recent episode. One. You guys never listen to audiobooks. When creating the shorter version of the story, I thought that there can be a longer version. Does anybody have any idea? No, but I know that Joe listens to audiobooks. I do, but... <laughs> I don't know. All right. I, I mean, I do, but what, what does that have to do with... I have no idea. Did I miss something? Like, I'm just... All right. Just plow through. Sorry. The homework <laughs> that Steve wants me to do is going to take some time. Really, I think that this segment should be once or twice a month. There is very limited amount of jams, or I need to go through older episodes to look. Yeah, Madison, take your time, man. Whatever we work, we aim to please you. So whenever you can get the material to us, we'll put it on the air. Right? Yes. Okay. And, I mean, the answer to this email, automated answer, sounds good to oh, me. Oh, wait, we're not done. There's more. <laughs> Three. Have you guys thinking of expanding the podcast through Anchor.fm? If you guys do, you guys may have to add commercials in the episodes. <laughs> So Rob, I don't know if you were make, you know considering driving us down the Anchor.fm road, but uh, <laughs> if we go down that way, we may have to consider commercials in the episodes. I just want you to know that. Okay. okay. Do people still use .fm websites? Uh, Apparently. Uh, okay. I sure. just say we stick I to think, Podbean. Yeah, I think the Podbeaners <laughs> might be on there. Madison number dose. We are in the playoffs, but not the way I wanted it to happen. Is the title. What a loss! <laughs> Offensive beast of the week. Moster. 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 <laughs> Defensive beast of the week. Bosun. I really should add details where to find the audio bits. For this week's flashback audio, it came from episode 35. Preseason. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Let me just start. This came from episode 35, preseason wrap-up. Steve was mentally exhausted from fantasy football drafts in that episode. <laughs> Chris the Ship Jumper story came from multiple episodes. Episode 31 and somewhere between episodes 50 and 55. And then the title of the audio is Wow Just Wow. One missed extra point. I don't know about you guys, but if I look back at the uh, Seahawks game, I, I miss field goal hurts, but a missed extra point hurts a little bit more, especially coming from a veteran kicker. Um, I mean, you can argue that maybe a two-point conversion attempt should have been uh, considered uh, make it a game. But anyway, 
That was tough to watch. Uh, I blame it all. Uh, I blame the. I, okay, the blame game goes to to the defense not covering Julio Jones. The guy was targeted a lot and he got over a hundred yards. George Kittle did in the game too, but Julio Jones was targeted so many times and he got two touchdowns. Uh, and then. They miss extra point is another blame. So, yeah, uh, makes the playoff picture a little bit more tough because let's let's hypothetically, if Seahawks beat the Cardinals and the Niners beat the Rams, uh, it looks like that the Niners really need to beat Seattle and be at, in Seattle. I really want. I'm hoping for uh, a Cardinals win against the Seahawks. Uh, right now, it's uh, looking at the NFC West. Yeah. Uh, well, the the conference first first uh, round by. I don't know home field advantage. I would really, really like to see that secured, but. Niners are in the playoffs, but not the way I was hoping it to be. Um, anyway, that said, final game against the Rams. Uh, Rams, uh, 17, Niners, 27. That said, um, just for the flashback segment, uh, I'm going to combine both of them, have one audio. Uh, I actually take some digging. It's like I'm, I'm looking for the first um, shoe sling uh, you guys are, have done, but um, I know when the first shoe slinger. It was an impromptu shoe slinger. It was our first year of the podcast, and we were about to face the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who had won a few games with Mike Glennon. And Joe caught a look at Mike Glennon. <laughs> and he looked like a real pee-headed dick. Right? The Shoe Slinger segment was originated. Was so, it? Yes. I 100% am mm. sure of that. Uh, by the way, his core prediction undercut Kern by one point. 28-17, <laughs> 27-17. <laughs> I think he keeps it interesting. It's close, the way we score it. Of course, yeah. Up or down, yeah. Ready? Mm-hmm. Haven't found that yet, but in my... In one of my discoveries, I found how this na- nickname came to be. It talked about a former 49er player who retired from the league. If Borland doesn't was get okay. that spot and before that yeah, half of the season's over. You mentioned it last week. I wouldn't be surprised if Borland takes that spot from Will Hoy after a couple weeks. I w- if he gets at least one star, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Baby arms, Borland. <laughs> that dude's vicious. That's his new name. Baby Arms Borland. And I am out, really. <laughs> well done. Yeah, it's good. Good, good, good. Baby Arms Borland. Fuck that guy. Baby Heart is what he's been fucking re- relabeled as. Ah, uh, next email from Anthony Scott. Fuck! Fuck! I'm fucking pissed. Not because we lost. I knew it might happen. But now all the dumb haters are chirping again. Well, I have something brown between my <laughs> legs they can lick. <laughs> How many wins do their fucking teams have? I heard our fan base be accused of fair weather dumb. Though no one is more loyal than us. Atlanta was playing for their coach's job, and desperate teams are always dangerous this late in the season. I think this loss will actually help us refocus going into the playoffs. I personally don't care about the one seed, but I don't want to have to travel to Seattle or New Orleans. It's not panic time, but if I hear another pundit trash Jimmy G, I'm going to snap. The fucker saying that can go die. Well, I well, I you, agree with the harsh. If you don't there. want to travel to Seattle or New Orleans, you kind of care about the number one seed, though. <laughs> <laughs> Without it, there's a good chance you have to travel to one of those two. Yeah. Where would you rather go? Seattle. Seattle. Yeah. All right, Bear. Actually, I don't. Uh, to be honest, I don't care. Yeah. After the way we played in New Orleans, like to have the confidence there. Uh, I think whatever. I would probably just say Seattle because it's closer. You know, time zone. Yeah, I agree. Bear Mueller, title waste. 
I never want to hear anyone praise Salah when he can't even figure out you have to double Julio Jones. Fucking bum has been hiding behind talent, and now that everyone is hurt, has been exposed as having no business as a defensive <laughs> coordinator. Seems a bit extreme. Well, yeah, also, was... also, when you call double coverage, the guys actually have to go out and stay with him and do it. Yeah. That's, that's the hard part. I think it's a little... I mean, I know we were extremely critical of Salad last year, uh, calling Rotten Salad and all, but um, I don't know. I think he's redeemed himself a bit. I mean, you could have talent, but you still got to organize it. So, we'll see. Uh, the jury's still up. Uh, and looks like we're going to end with, uh, you know, the magic man himself, just Joe. Uh, damn is the title. Make yeah. It a game. Um, Make it a we're going to need our starters back. Please. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, we're going to need everyone to take the stick out of your ass and uh, start playing like the 49ers that we love. Please. Appreciate it. Except for Kittle and Mostert and, and uh, Jimmy. I, I don't, people like all over were saying Jimmy, Garoppolo, this is da da da. It wasn't Jimmy. Um, hello. <laughs> Did you see the drops? I mean, Bourne and Kittle were the ones that had the most catches. I'm just saying. Yeah, we're going now. Oh, shut up, fool. <laughs> <Nobody's been. laughs> we call that fool the war at home at work. <laughs> Anyways, the walrus. Is not Jimmy's said? fault. Not Kittle's fault. Not Moser's fault. <laughs> Stop with Andy Reid. Stop. Stop putting Coleman in, please. Everyone else needs to take that stick out of your ass. Hey, what about what about uh, Kwan Alexander trying to pull a Ray Lewis? <laughs> Super Bowl. Let's go. Peace out. We're gonna whip on the Rams. Whip on the Rams. What? <laughs> Like what Madison snuck in there. Ninety nine bitches. Mm-hmm.